All right, so what we're going to talk about here is just a quick way to spruce up a quick rubric that you may have created. This generally is kind of what one looks like for us. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and take the header row, which is this top row. Just give it a darker color. In some cases, uh, I usually just like to go with like a dark, a dark color, and then I like to make the font a lighter color. This kind of lets it stand out a little bit more. Okay. And one of the things that bothers me too is having to push enter to try and get this centered. Uh, there's something you can do that that actually takes care of that. I'm actually going to select all of the top stuff here. And I'm going to right click, go to table properties. And you can see I've already messed with some of this stuff here, but we where it says alignment, cell vertical alignment, that's the alignment here. I'm going to click middle. And as you see, it moved everything down here. And with this highlighted, I'm going to go ahead and click center because I just think that looks nicer here. Now, if you have more information, maybe you want to keep it left aligned. That works too. Whatever you, whatever, you, know, you think works best, it's an option for you there. Uh, I like to have over here a total, and that way we can have a total here. And the grade is not going to be a letter, but it's going to be a basically the percentage that they got out of this assignment. So you can do other things too. Sometimes I like to come in here and I like to make sure these cells are a different color, just so it gives it a little bit of pop there. And also there's another option here I like to do with this. I like to create a header. Now some people might think it's kind of cheesy or whatever it might be, but I like to do, I like to come in here and I create just a little header. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. Copy and paste that, control C V. And so sometimes what I'll do is I'll take this and make it oh something fancy. Let's see, like lobster. There we go. And I'll shrink it down. And what I like to do is different people have different opinions. I like to take the border off around the letter, so I'll make it transparent and make it a different color so I'll go like dark green again and then sometimes too I'll just add a quick image so I go search okay and then we have all you can look up all these different things here and so I'm just going to go ahead and add the A plus this is what is called a PNG file you can see because there's no background around it and then once I've done this I like to take a box or a circle like a rounded edge box Okay, now you, it covers it, but if I right click, I can go order, send it back, or if I do that, I can do control shift down and it sends it all the way to the back. And I don't like this color, so I'm going to change it to, let's just say, let's just say white. Okay, now I have a, a fun little header for my assignment. Okay, I can center it. What I also do on these occasionally is I'm not a fan of staring at white screen, so I will come into File, go to Page Setup, and I will oftentimes just change the color to a different shade of white. Sometimes I'll change it to a different color just for funsies for the kids, but it does make it a little bit easier to see what's going on here. So you're not just staring at a white screen the entire time. All right, so this is the basic setup of a rubric. These don't really matter so much right now as much as just having a setup here.